Hey, what's going on guys? It's Shock with DG and this is also the third time I'm recording this video now because I was muted on my GoXLR and I had no idea. Anyways though, today's video is just going to be a settings video. So I'm going to take you through all of my settings, all that good stuff. So if you guys have been interested in my settings for Crimson Heist, these are them. So if you enjoyed the video, be sure to like and subscribe, comment down below. I would appreciate that. Anyways though, ranks, diamond and champ, you guys already know that. Not ranked this season, of course level is 388 going on to the actual settings i'll go ahead and just scroll through this you guys can uh pause on whatever you would like to read interface preferences so all of this is basically just pro league settings i believe so if if like if you really want to like compare you can just go to like the face it website and just like look at the settings that's basically what i run uh, anyways for audio english english on i like subtitles on so if someone's reinforcing the other team you know like say that they're reinforcing like their operator will, like scream out that they're reinforcing or whatever it's little things like that that you get with subtitles on master volume is on 70. my windows volume is also 70. no particular reason for this just kind of put it on 70 it's like hey, why not music volume is on zero i prefer to listen to my own music of course so that's on zero dialogue volume 60 night mode for my dynamic range i don't know if night mode is the best i kind of just use it because i've always used it i have no idea if there's a better one if this one's horrible i don't know i just know the audio on night mode so that's what i prefer to use voice chat volume 75 mute on unfocused that's like if i tab out it actually mutes the game so i don't hear it push to talk of course and all of this so if you guys are interested in my audio setup i run a sure sm7b into a d1 or what is it a dm or a d1 dynamite i don't know what it's called it's it's something dynamite it's a cloud lifter basically uh into a go xlr and i use the steel series um, wireless headset whatever it is the the pro wireless it's like the 350 dollars ones if if you're going off price you'll see them on their website uh anyways going on to display so i have two different monitors the primary one here is a 240 hertz as you can see here the second one is a 144 hertz but since i only have a hdmi cable in you're not seeing the 144 but i just use this primary one on 240 hertz my resolution is 1920 by 1080. i play full screen of course and my asset ratio is 43 i want to make this clear i don't think that this is the best asset ratio i don't think that there is such thing as a best asset ratio it's all just like personal preference so if you like something better then use that this is just what i use anyways though v-sync off widescreen letterbox off field of view again it's the same thing as asset ratio if you like something different then use something different for me i like 84 there's no particular reason for it 83 might be better 85 might be better i just use 84 whatever you want to use is probably best as for calibration or brightness i use 70 and moving on to the graphic settings i have it on custom everything is pretty much low or off besides shadows i have on medium you really want shadows on medium because if you have them on low it disables dynamic shadows and dynamic shadows is for example like an enemy operator on the other team is moving you will see their shadow before you see them so it gives you a good indicator when someone's about to turn the corner it could just give you a little bit of an advantage so i highly highly recommend that you keep medium shadows on if you have a bad pc turn everything to low but keep shadow on medium it's super super important i've got videos on how to get more fps and how to make a game look better down below in the description it's in my tips playlist so if you guys are looking to get more fps check that video out anyways though continuing on again everything's just on off for the most part besides taa i keep on render scaling 25 ta sharpness 100 my pc is kind of bad right now i only have a 1080 as you see which i know is maybe good to some people but i also stream and record at the same time so it really eats at my pc so to get any sort of good fps i have to run ta on with these settings if i didn't have a 1080 and i had say like a 3080 definitely would have ta on i do not recommend this unless your pc is a bit slow anyways though moving on to controls so i've changed my sense a little bit but we'll get to that here just in a second so raw input i have off because there's a lot of bugs with it right now it's not really working i don't really know what's happening with it i'm just keeping it off so as for my horizontal vertical i have on 13 the ads sensitivity i'll go ahead and scroll through you guys can pause check out whatever you want to check out it's a little bit different than it was before 
I've moved off my like 14, 14, 55, like pre shadow legacy sense to really it's 13, 13, 50. Uh, anyways, though, moving on down here, you guys can look at all this. So I have my aim on toggle. And if you guys don't know what toggle aim means, it's basically instead of holding right click to ADS, I just click it once and then click it again to un ADS. So I get a lot of questions. People are like, well, there's no way you use toggle aim. Yeah, I like, I, I definitely use toggle aim. And I know a lot of like really, really good players used to use it. I know Pangu used to use it. So I'd say give it a shot if you'd like, but it's really hard to get used to. So you know just it's, it's gonna be pretty intimidating at first anyways though leans toggle sprint hold all this on toggle for the most part as for my individual controls uh i've changed some things around i'll go ahead and scroll through again just like pause on something if you'd like to look at it but for the most part everything's default besides like a few things i have off or not off sorry i've changed a little bit it's so like prone and uh crouch i've switched around you know just little things like that but for the most part everything is just uh default that's that onto the observation tools all this is going to be default because i just don't do any of this i don't do any spectating so alrighty on to accessibility i have a purple optic color and 100 opacity no reason for this i just like it <laughs> I, I literally like the the color purple that's that's my reasoning for it I don't think I don't think there's like a, a best uh you know what color or opacity or anything I think it's just whatever you like <laughs> as for the rest of this I have off or default whatever it is I just I don't like any of this so I just keep it all off anyways though that's gonna be all for this video I hope you guys enjoyed if you did again be sure to like comment and subscribe helps out the YouTube algorithm gets me some more views I would appreciate it I'll also be streaming on Twitch. The link is down below in the description if you'd like to check it out, along with my coaching service, tips playlist, and second channel, which I post two to three videos on per day. So if you're interested in that, be sure to check those links down below in the description. But anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching and have a good day. Hey guys, so I wanted to address the guessing rank series and talk about the future of it. So I'll only be reviewing clips sent from my Patreon going forward. Going forward, if you'd like me to review one of your clips, you can become a Patreon of mine. For $5 per month, you can submit two clips, which will be guaranteed to be my next guessing ranks video. I'll also be posting these videos onto my second channel. So as I said in the beginning of this video, if you haven't already, be sure to go ahead and subscribe to that. The link to both my Patreon and my second channel will be down below in the description. Also, thank you so much to Thomas Geddes, John Smith, Snow R6, R6 Toast, and Wapi R6 for pledging to my Patreon. You guys are awesome and I appreciate all the support from you.